Hi guys, it's Caddy. <laughs> um, shut up. <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you this staff pencil tutorial. Here's a picture. Or on this side. Here's pictures. Picture, picture. I don't know. Yeah, you can use this tutorial for whatever you want, especially if you want to scare your parents and tell your parents that a teacher like stabbed you. What? You're so dark. I know. So yeah, if you want to know how to do this tutorial, then keep on watching. <laughs> okay, so first things first, you want to take your scar wax using your scalpel and you want to warm the product up with your hands so it's easier to apply. Also, you want to make sure that you use a lot of this product because it melts easily, so you don't want it to melt in your hands. Then I'm taking the scar wax and applying it to my arm and I'm starting to smooth it out with my fingers and then I'm taking my scalpel and smoothing out all the edges and trying to blend it as much as possible. Once you're done with the scalpel, you want to take any sponge, I'm using a disposable sponge, and just dab it down. Really, really try to blend it with your skin, it's very important. Um, and this is how it should look once it's done. Here I am taking my MAC foundation and I am pouring just a little bit on the scar wax to blend it in with my skin color a little bit more and then blending everything together. So now I'm taking my Skin Illustrator FX palette and I am spraying my 96% alcohol to activate it. Using my sponge, I'm then taking the darkest colors in my FX palette and I'm focusing a lot on the brown color, red colors and a lot of the blue colors. And then I'm applying the colors on the scar wax to give that really bruised, bloody, gruesome look. Then once you're done, repeat the same process on the back of your wrist. Okay, so once you're done coloring, this is how it should look. Then you want to take your broken pencil and stab it right into the scar wax. I am then taking the other side of the pencil and stabbing that in too, but it did not last long, so I decided to take it out and just focus on the top part. Um, so here I'm applying the fake blood onto the scar wax to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then taking my sponge, I am stippling the blood around the wound just to blend it in a little bit more with the colors from the effects palette. And then you have your completed look. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to watch my other videos and please subscribe, like, share. So thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Cute. Cute. <laughs>